Is a prison cell awaiting Justin Roiland? Have criminal charges been pressed against the voice responsible for making millions laugh? Why have Adult Swim and Hulu pulled the plug on Roiland's stint with them? Yikes. Looks like Roiland's involvement in the controversial court case has lost him his career. Is this the beginning of the end? Stick around for this bumpy ride. Another one bites the dust. The past is coming back to haunt Justin Roiland of the Rick and Morty fame in the most unexpected of ways. Karma is pure class. God, Grandpa, you're such a dick. I'm sorry, Summer. Your opinion means very little to me. Why, Jerry? Why expend the effort? Life is effort and I'll stop when I die. The co-creator of one of the most hilarious shows of all time has landed in some pretty hot water. Not that we want to pass a blanket statement or anything, but dodgy relationships are pretty common in Tinseltown. Looks like behind the giggles and guffaws, the co-creator of the billion-dollar hit series was hiding a much darker truth. The awful truth tumbled out only recently. Crikey. According to details that have emerged, Roiland's criminal record shows a charge of domestic battery. This is one felony count accompanied by corporal injury. There is another felony count which indicts the actor on charges of false imprisonment by menace, violence, fraud, and or deceit. This calls for a backstory. An individual who is only identified by the name Jane Doe is the victim. The district attorney of Orange County, California filed the complaint in May of the year 2020. The incident dates back to the 19th of January 2020 as per documents. Beth, having a family doesn't mean that you stop being an individual. You know the best thing you can do for people that depend on you? Be honest with them even if it means setting them free. You're saying I should leave Jerry. So what does it all boil down to? What is on the cards for Justin? Do we hear jail time? Looks like Roiland was put behind bars in August of the same year. However, he lived to see daylight all thanks to a 50 grand bail. What goes around comes around. Roiland's dating partner at the time suffered the devastating consequences of his actions. She was left no less than traumatized. It's a scary world out there. Looks like life has hit Roiland where it hurts the most. His career and paycheck. These latest revelations have taken a toll on his relationship with Adult Swim. As in, things have definitely taken a turn for the worse and nosedived. Just awful. Marie Moore unequivocally denounced Adult Swim's association with the tainted star of the comedy series. And she is the lady who, as VP of Communications at Adult Swim, certainly calls the shots and announced a swift ending to all ties. That is what we call justice served. Domestic abuse is never acceptable, and the channel deserves to be commended for taking a principled stance in the face of this latest crisis. Crisis. Kudos to them. So, is the future of the show in jeopardy? Well, it looks like the show is straddling safe waters. According to the Twitter account of Rick and Morty, the official stance is pretty grounded on the narrative that Rick and Morty is not going anywhere anytime soon, and we couldn't be happier about it. I feel like I've spent my life pretending you're a great guy and trying to be like you. And the ugly truth has always been that I'm not that great a guy and you're exactly like me. One can't help but question how the show will carry the baton forward without the signature voice behind both the main characters of the super hit franchise. Looks like Adult Swim has already done the math and devised a creative solution. To begin with, Dan Harmon will fly a solo ship as the creator of the series, minus Roiland. However, credit will be given where it's due with Roiland as co-creator. And you're going to keep your mouth shut about it, Morty because the world is full of idiots that don't understand what's important, and they'll tear us apart, Morty. But if you stick with me, I'm gonna accomplish great things, Morty, and you're gonna be part of them. Sounds like a fair deal. Roiland is pretty lucky to get his name mentioned on the platform at all, given his despicable act. If Despicable Me was not such an adorable movie, we would have conferred the title to him. Yikes. Adult Swim is casting a pretty wide net to recast the roles of Rick and Morty. Sounds like a plan to us. If all these developments were not crushing enough for Roiland, then Hulu delivered another blow to the star mired knee-deep in controversy. So I wouldn't have to come here. Why didn't you want to come here? Because I don't respect therapy. Because I'm a scientist. Because I invent, transform, create, and destroy for a living. A little birdie blew the whistle that Hulu Originals dropped another bomb on Justin. Looks like his career is going up in a mushroom cloud. As per latest developments with sensational shows on Hulu, remember Solar Opposites and Koala Man? Well, seems to us Roiland has been compelled to bid adieu to his connection with them. Yes, you guessed right. Come on, Rick, don't talk about my parents like that. Listen, Morty, I hate to break it to you, but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed. It hits hard, Morty, then it slowly fades. The inevitable has happened. 20th TV animations and Hulu originals have also dropped the girlfriend beater like a hot potato. It must suck to be Roiland at this time. Looks like the voice of Corvo Solar Opposite and Chadwagon will be laid to rest, at least as far as Roiland's participation is concerned. Being the troopers that they are, the cast and crew of the stellar shows will 
carry on sans Royland. We say bravo and good riddance. What is in the pipeline for Rick and Morty? Well, as the news goes, the show is likely expected to stretch into season 10. To live is to risk it all. Otherwise, you're just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I didn't see you there. How much of that did you hear? All of it. You were looking right at me. Don't you just love it? But as of now, season 7 is being diligently worked on. The season prior to 7 kicked off with a bang last September, with the season concluding in December. Quite thrilling to say the least. We are eagerly awaiting the show's unique brand of humor. Meanwhile, what's going on on Planet Royland? Not that we particularly care to uncover that, but objective reporting warrants that we do. So, here goes. Mr. Royland pleads innocence. In the scary month of Halloween in the year 2020, co-creator of yet another hit TV show, Solar Opposites. Justin stuck by his stance and pleaded not guilty to both charges leveled at him. The lawyer of the co-producer of Hulu TV's Koala Man is being quite the sourpuss. T. Edward remains convinced that Justin will be acquitted of all charges pertaining to domestic abuse once the evidence is brought under scrutiny and consideration by the district attorney's office. Good luck with that. And we say that with all the sarcasm that we can muster if Royland did indeed do the unthinkable and committed those acts. Edward also slammed the portrayal in the media as inaccurate as per Hollywood Reporter. Meanwhile, life is not getting any easier for Royland, as he is expected to hit the court in April this year. If guilty, he gives a new meaning to the term April Fool. They say seven is a lucky number. Well, not so if you are Justin Royland. Think about the prospect of spending seven years in prison, which is what Royland can potentially face if found guilty. It really makes you think, huh, Morty? We should never take things for granted. What? I'm just saying, life's short. We shouldn't take things for granted. Are you saying granite? Well, yeah. It's granted with a D. It appears that the number of oysters for Royland from all his respective roles is only going to mount. Aw, oh, that makes us all teary-eyed, not? Royland also tendered his resignation at a company that he himself had built. You go, guy. A video game company, Squanch Games, is the latest in the Let's Get Rid of Royland series. We're glad this trend is catching on. Royland does have one cheerleader out there. His lawyer is the only one rooting for him. Ever the optimist, or so we think, T. Edward Wellborn is looking forward to providing Royland with a clean slate so that he can transition forward quickly. Lady Luck is clearly frowning on Royland. Alright, calm down. Listen to me, Morty. I know that new situations can be intimidating. You're looking around and it's all scary and different, but you know, meeting them head on, charging right into him like a bull. But you can't exactly count on your luck to shine if you go around beating ladies. The man is a walking, talking red flag, at least that's how it appears. If there is one dating advice we can give to Justin, it's this. Never lift a finger on a lady. Pretty stellar dating advice, we think. The man visited the wrong charm school. Well, we came, we saw, and we gave our views on the subject. That out there, that's my grave. Wait. What? On one of our adventures, Rick and I basically destroyed the whole world. Looks like Royland has dug a pretty deep hole for himself, one he cannot crawl easily out of, unless evidence proves otherwise. Tell us what you think of the whole Royland Hulu Adult Swim saga. See ya.